Oh, it's got Moises Blades. The suggestion came from Jedi Knight of the Woods a few months back. Why don't I buy in bulk a load of Martindale's Glocks, do what I do with them, and then sell them on? Apparently, Ralph Martindale's aren't too happy about doing that. Because apparently I'm doing them for resale. Well, I was honest. I said, yes, I would actually sell them on. Oh, well, they're lost. So anyway, yesterday I ordered two from Heine Haynes. Today they're here. Literally that quick. Well, I'm guessing this is what it is because it says Lorax, which is Heine, Heine Haynes' trading names. So let's open it up. See if they put four in by mistake, that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? So, there's the grey outer. See how they're packing this compared with that bear arm incident. Remember that one? Anything in there? Okay. Wee little thing, isn't it? So, Tiny Haynes, inner thing, two, three postage because I spent more than 30 pounds. So, I now have two. Rough and ready. Rough and ready. If ever the term rough and ready. Ralph Martindale's. Have you ever heard of a linisher? Look at the depth, the gap in there. There's fluff all over it. I'm guessing from the sheath. Got green mark on the handle. Might be to make that green mark. Black stain there on the handle. Oh my god! There is a spike on the blade. There, big fast burr. Is this how they come? Is this how they come? One one rivet is proud, one rivet is sunk. Heat treat's gonna be good. I mean, look at the bend on that. Yeah. Okay. So, there's the sheath, and there's a file. Okay. But the the, the wooden sharp edge there. Begins with D and ends in diabolical. You know, the metal's good, the wood's good, but there's absolutely no finish. The next one. The top of it has a trench and so sharp edges. There's a fat ass ding in that handle there. Can you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Black marks. Black marks. I don't know whether it's oil or. No, it's hard. It's varnish. 
got varnish drips down the blade. Can you see that? There, drips down the blade. And a big snot of varnish on the end of there. This one has essence of sharpness. This one has seen an edge. Could this be the first ever to leave the factory with an edge? Not quite. Cardboard would rather tear first. need gloves to use that. Right, the plan is to get these usable, functional, aesthetically pleasing, Uh, you know, I've had them come to me for work, and obviously, the person that sent them to me has had a go themselves trying to rectify that and <sighs> that. So, anyway, there will be two Martin Dale's Go Locks number twos getting the Wessex Blades treatment. And what I'm doing is a save in this. You bought one, you've probably paid postage from Heine to yourself. Then you go, <laughs> then you post it to me. Then I do the work, then I post it to you. I buy two, I get it free post to me. Ah, then we arrange a deal. So, I'll get these done. When they're done, there'll be some videos showing how knifey they are now as opposed to the state they're in now which is basically a sharpened ruler with a crappy handle and um who's the lucky two it's got wessex blades with two and dark martins with Martin dale's galoks bare ass the bristol comes to mind Bloody dear. British Army get that. <laughs>